if the man cheats because the woman is doing something according to you, okay. can we all agree that the woman too can cheat on the man when he's not doing things right? Ask yourself a question. If you have a glass of cup and there's water in it and you just touch the outside of the cup, can you still drink that water? Yeah. But if, if, if I dip my hand and another man dips his hand, another man dips his hand, can you still drink that no. water? No. Exactly. It's polluted. A woman, okay. that is the advantage we men have when it comes to that note okay so, Do you want so the man yeah. when the man cheats the man is like a glass of water that you hold outside so you can still drink the water right because we but when the woman cheats the woman is like a polluted water whom everybody has dipped their hands into so men can cheat women cannot cheat <laughs> It, it, it is it, it is what it is, man. With, with all due respect, it is what it is. That is the that is what that is the advantage of being a man. Oh. And I do apologize to most. The advantage of, it, of being a man is they can cheat. It, it is what it is. We are physical beings. We are attracted by what we see. As a woman, it, it, it is it, it, it is sound in the same way, but it is what it is. Fantastic, <laughs> Kakayangu, my brother. I greet you. This is your explanation, eh? This explanation is like finding a reason why men should be promiscuous. <laughs> hey! When did morality become exclusive to one gender? This is your analogy, eh? Let's dissect it. Sorry, see the glass I'm, I'm holding. I'm trying to dissect his analogy. Okay, so he said a woman, let's say a woman is this glass full of water so he is using the glass of water as a euphemism for ibu Chai. kuma Chai. ahemfie Chai. meat pie Chai. etwe Chai. ondakenu Chai. taskwa Chai. porompo Chai. ibu Chai. he is using this as a euphemism for kuma Chai. then he say finger to put finger. He's using finger as a euphemism for a pee pee. Mbara. Ume. Bula. Mm-hmm. Emeka put finger. Then she go to uh, South Africa. Sifiwe put finger. Then she go to Kenya. Almani put finger. She go to Somalia. Musa, put finger. She go to United States of America. Johnson, put finger. He now asks, after all this fingering, fingering inside the water, will you still drink this water? After all those men <laughs> have put their finger. You know what it means now, okwegata. If the woman has had okwegata, okwezina, okwegaranga, Okutomba, Okuchugu, mommy and daddy, with plenty, plenty men, and her water has been penetrated with different EPP. Will you still drink the water? <laughs> That's a nice analogy. But my brother, let me now bring my own analogy to support why men should be moral, morally upright. This is your wife's water, clean and pure. This water is a euphemism for your wife's kuma. This is your umbara, your EPP. Now your wife is at home. Our water is at home like this. Bah. <laughs> now you, you go to Lekki. <laughs> you meet Chinelo. Let's say Chinelo's water is infected with chlamydia. You carry your EPP. You put it. You have carried chlamydia then you go to south africa you meet ulitando ulitando's water is infected let's say with hiv you carry that same chlamydia infected uh, finger you put it in ulitando's water so you have chlamydia and uh, hiv now <laughs> then you go to kenya you meet bridget let's say bridget has gonococcus aerus in a smoky book you say which one which one is gonna go to you don't know gonna bite bite <laughs> gonna run now gonna go to the one that when they are urinating they will be shouting like this ah! 
Uh -huh. <laughs> so, Bridget has Gonococcus aerus, Bridget's water. You still put your, your finger inside. Now, your finger has been infected because you are an aponchie, abirichie. You can't control yourself. Any water you put your finger. Now you come home. You come home. Your wife's clean water. You now come home with your infected finger. You now put your finger inside your wife's water. Thereby contaminating your wife's water. Is that water still drinkable? <laughs> <laughs> My brother, you can see that analogy anybody can bring analogy to support their position morality is not exclusive to any gender the fact that you're a man and you have a pp does not mean you should go around sleeping with anything that works <laughs> does not mean you should be loose morally everybody owe it to themselves to be morally upright both a man and a woman a woman owes it to herself to be morally upright, to keep her body. A man owes it to himself to keep his body, not to carry your, your EPP, to be chucking every hole <laughs> and coming online to make excuses for it. <laughs> this behavior is a bad character. This year, we need to stop it. We need to stop this nonsense behavior we, we exhibit online. How can you just come online to try to, to justify uh, immorality and and aponcherism <laughs> and that's a new word i'm going to i'm going to copyright it aponcherism you justify wrong thing with water analogy now that i've brought the water analogy for you now you see that anybody can bring analogy <laughs> you see it my brother meanwhile what your finger inside this water see look at this space how will she be satisfied is this how you <laughs> So this is your MVP. You now put it inside this water. See space now. <laughs> See space. My brother, no. The borrow should be like this. <laughs> See. So when you now put lubric lubricating, it will now slip in. She will enjoy that one. Not pico pico. Uh, wh where are you from? <laughs> where are you from? You're an African man. We know they carry MVP <laughs> like this. Our MVP not they like this. <laughs> When you want to give an analogy, please give it right. Give an analogy like this. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you see, my brother, anybody can bring nonsense analogy to support their position. Please, morality is not exclusive to any gender. As a man, you owe it to yourself to be responsible. Not sleeping around different things and making excuses because you're a man. That's not how life works. If you go and catch HIV or catch one disease, you bring it home. And infect your poor wife who knows nothing as a woman you, you owe it to yourself to keep your body keep your body not be every man you go let they put their nonsense bullet inside you some people their spirit is very bad don't let anybody climb you you have to have a man that you know and let that man be responsible not not men that give excuses for your immorality like this let that you know that man is responsible there are still responsible men out there. Oh, come and give nonsense analogy just so that you can be up doing a punchierism up and down. Thank you. Hey, where are you going? In a smoky boat. When you watch this video now, didn't you laugh? You laughed, but you still refuse to subscribe. Are you among my village people? <laughs> you are among my village people. You don't want me to make it in life. Continue. You refuse. You laughed. Shouldn't my reward be <laughs> click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and click all notifications. And when you finish watching, you share. Share to your friends so that they too will laugh. So that me too, I will go far. But no, you decided to be among my village people you want to watch and go. <laughs> Don't be among my village people. They are not good people. I post videos every day, every single day. To make you laugh. If you join the tribe, the fantastic tribe, every day you will just be laughing. Look at this one now. This one is to watch all my funny videos playlist. This one is to watch my last video. And this one is to subscribe. 